We are seeing the infinitely cunning operations of an infinitely complex mind. I am being made to eat and drink my own thoughts. It's cruel! It's so cruel! My own life coming back at me. Just you wait till you hear my offer, Professor. It'll knock you out. It cannot be that that damaged remnant knows its own condition. send you back on one of my specials. You just speak your oh, instructions. Oh, we have those. Our corporation has those, too. With a bar in the back. Bar? <laughs> well, no, but in any case, I... <laughs> oh, well, all right. Why not? You naughty man. <laughs> now, just ID yourself with SA1G. SA1G. Now, that, in case you should wonder, Stands for Silt's A1 guest. Silt's high interest trade would have done. And it makes a better acronym. What? Capital initials. S-H-I-T. <laughs> I'm afraid S-A-1-G will have to do. <laughs> Here you are. Complete with bar and one side guard. Sir, madam. <laughs> Enjoy the trip, my dear. And remember, answer by noon tomorrow. Tick one box. Tick one box. <laughs> Good night, Professor. Good night. I'll squeeze that milk from your withered udders, you hoity old cow, just you see. Wants me pissed. <laughs> Nasty man. I just don't know. Stop here. Identify, please. Um. Oh shit. Not recognized. Identify, please. S A one G. Stop. I'm stopping. S-A-1-G, reverse, slowly. I'm reversing, slowly. Stop. I'm stopping. And shut your mouth. Not recognized. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie prof. Wait here. We'll wait. <laughs> oh, shut up. Not recognized. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
hardly took your time, young man. What do you mean, you were asleep? How can you go to sleep so early? What time is it, anyway? Uh, uh, 11 o'clock, nearly. Oh, my God. What? That means I've been with that man for close on 10 hours. Fyodor? What? what? Have I come at... <gasps> Dear. He's given me too much. Oh, Fyodor, you look terrible. What's the matter? Please, will you sit down? You're hovering over me like a. Like. Fyodor, are you ill? I. Uh, yes. Uh, some sort of fever. Or I uh, uh, fell asleep at my desk and I am. Um... had a nightmare by the looks of you. Excuse me, I'm not myself. Oh, God. Fyodor, my dear. <sighs> Maybe it's a bug or a... And uh, poor Kaya. That really got to me. Oh, I know. She keeps flashing in and out of my mind, too. Such a sweet and... What could possibly have happened? I don't think I can let you stay long, Emma. I'm just about all in. I'm sorry, I've intruded, I can see. I shouldn't have any more. Suddenly, I feel stone-cold sober. I'm badly in need of a talk. Silts. Silts. I know. Such people make me feel contaminated. Contaminated? But then again, I don't suppose he's all that much worse than the Martina Mazdens of this world. We're entirely run by giant corporations, and they, in turn, are entirely run by people who, who have no regard for any other structure, any Come other... Contaminated. What? Emma. I... Fyodor. Uh... Oh. delicate than it seems. I hit him over the head with it. And as he fell, I hit him again as hard as I could. You're quite sure he's dead? Absolutely. But what are you going to do? I haven't the faintest idea. You're going to kill me, too. No, Emma. I'm terribly sorry about this. He c I'm sorry. I have to think. But in order to think, really think, you have to talk about and think about something else, haven't you? It's uh, like referring pain. Silks, 
He's offered me, us, the kingdoms of the world. He can guarantee all our funding. What? Double all our salaries, move us into our own laboratories, provide us with all the alpha neuropeptide 1042 and all the cerebral spinal fluids we'll ever need. What? And to cap it all, he'll enable us to make submicrosbic modifications in many, many more cerebral circuits by pushing us from 40% to 80% of those 10 billion neurons in the cerebral cortex. But, but that would cost zillions. I mean, billions and billions. That would be one of the costliest. Oh, plus all the lawsuits. The what? Well, it's theft, isn't it? Silks Corporation purloining the Mazden material. We'll have to get that boxed-up head out of there for a start. But think of it, Fyodor, our own lab, those resources, that percentage of the cortex. My God, in blue heaven. And in return? We prostitute ourselves. Exactly. And what... what does he get for all those zillions? What? Ah, now, this is the thing. He gets the right to take the memories of Daniel Field, edit them, and transmit them all over the world on his TV, his cable, his videos, his VRs, his whole crock of shit. He's convinced that he'll sweep the ratings when people out there see what it was really like to walk and talk and play and screw nearly 400 years ago. And maybe, just maybe, he's too smart for his own good. Maybe, maybe. You see, he's right in a way. You know, how stupendous to see the real past through the eyes and the feelings of someone who lived in it. Oh, God. What an escape. I can't you just imagine how avidly people would lap it up and then, and then, oh, if only, and then they might look at the world around them, the world as it is now, and start to ask questions. Why do we have to live like this? Or why cannot we walk in the streets? Why can't we uh, mingle and uh, touch and hope in the way our forefathers and mothers used to? Why, why, why? You're getting to sound like a Ron. I am. Reality or nothing. I believe it. You? I joined like hundreds, no, thousands of others for political reasons. Not to terrorize, not to shed blood, but to sabotage. To throw up the right questions in the right places. To rescue. And uh, now, no, I can't get out. You can't resign from the party. It's for life. It's for life or death. And Milton there, he found out about you, is that it? He's my section leader. He recruited me in the first place. Andrew Milton? Oh, we're uh, here, there, everywhere. Then what were you? The poor little girl, Kaya. I met her in the corridor when she ran out of the lab. Her disgust with the work seemed promising. I left her with Andrew. You mean Andrew killed her? My fault. She was horrified by the very thought of the Rons. And uh, he'd gone so far that he'd compromised himself. That's what he came to me for tonight to explain, to justify. But how can you explain? How can you justify? I just felt this, this hot mist, this rage, and I picked up whatever it was I could pick up and... Oh, dear God. Oh, dear Christ in heaven. So now you'll have to kill me. Will I? Do you intend to try to sabotage my project? I did intend to, yes. It is an obscenity. But now? 
No. You're sure? Yes, I'm sure. No, I will not sabotage this. Not now. I still have a few shreds and tatters of hope in us as citizens rather than simply consumers. Oh, don't preach. Preach! <sighs> okay. Okay. This is how I see it. You should take the tainted silver. Scrape out our poor creatures' memories and show billions of people out there that, yes, there were other ways to live. Let the past speak. Let it accuse. So it backfires on Silts? <laughs> Explodes in his face. And the ugly mugs of all the other little Silses and the little Mastons and the related turds. <laughs> Do it, Emma. Go for it. Don't be late for work. now and then and you must pay before you get them back again that's what storms were made for and you shouldn't be afraid for every time it rains it rains and it's from heaven don't you know each cloud contains pennies from heaven? My goodness, that's what I call cash. That's nothing, nothing. Pocket money. Know why they call me pig? <laughs> pig mailing. Mm, it doesn't sound very nice. It's because I like me dosh by the trough, no fella. <laughs> well, that's... Sorry, frog in my throat. Nah, not a frog. You got gold in them tonsils, I'll tell you. Now listen, what you need is a good manager. Somebody who can... Hey, what is this? You need a few stars in your crown, Arthur. Overload? It can't be. No, not overload. If it were not impossible, technically impossible, I would say it was pure blackout. I mean, total loss of consciousness in trauma. Most extreme form of amnesia. But why do you say technically impossible? My God, you're right. Those cells, the stimulated ones, could behave in any normal brain pattern within the parameters we've set. That means... That would mean we would have to distinguish what type of amnesia we've got here. Anterograde, retrograde, or post-traumatic. And the gunshot, the killing. My God, our man was a murderer. Fyodor? We've just discovered our Daniel Field, as was, shot a man at virtually point blank. I'm sorry I'm late again. Yes, so am I. I had a bad night, and then an intolerably real, authentic-seeming nightmare in which I was about to be executed for being a wrong terrorist. Jesus. 
But why that, Doctor? There are no whys in nightmares, only what's. Which is more or less the problem we now have. I'd say post-traumatic amnesia, but arrested. We can't move him back, we can't move him on. Today of all days. Today? What do you mean? Fyodor, help! Mm. It's possible. Well, there's so much leakage, so much after-freeze damage between... The, uh, maybe the amygdala has been overstimulated by accident, so to speak. You know that whole fight or uh, flight syndrome? And here, the motor and autonomic responses have simply ceased. We need to use switching mechanisms. Serotonin, noradrenaline, so forth. No adrenaline, yes! Arouse that state of attentiveness. Can't we reverse the whole process? And feed him a memory? What, not one of his own? Well, if it was some public event that he might have seen or have heard with talked you, about, with you. it might just trigger some response. Archive 2611, pick random 20 to 30 seconds public event, say 1983. Zip it through the capillaries into our feed box. Which lab? Cryonic Lab A. Cost you? Oh, and some STFU. Some what? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> the beta grade no adrenaline will be ready when the archive stuff flows. Disposed of? Yes, gone. I know, archive, this will be utterly useless. Have the police questioned you yet? About poor Kaya? Only for an hour. By the time they finished, I was beginning to think I'd done it. Oh, me too. Well, you sound like conspirators. Oh, the poor girl. Have they questioned you yet, Dr. Glasnow? Of course. Are we ready? What, Mark? The noradrenaline. As soon as the spool light comes on, three. Uh, no, 2.9. Spool light on. Does Prince William have a favourite toy? Um, Jamie, he loves his koala bear he's got. But he hasn't got anything particular. He just likes something with a bit of noise. Um, you got a plastic whale that throws things out the top, little balls. <laughs> what on earth was that? Well, whatever it was, it doesn't it seem to have... Crossed, you don't know me from Adam. Or Eve. Eve? Oh, yeah. What to say, Eve, being a woman, and I, And I love my koala bear a lot. No doubt about it. I want to say something about you. To you. What? Mumble, umble, plastic whale, I'm a mum. What? Don't get worried or upset. I'm not going to jump on you or anything like that. I don't want to offend you, but I must say something. But he hasn't got anything particular. He just likes to make a bit of noise. You are utterly enchanting. Oh, yeah. No fresh air to me. I feel lifted up in your presence. I once knew a young woman whom all the songs. All the songs, all of them. A green-eyed dazzler I met in a forest of Neve Dance Hall. Just one, please. Thank you. Thank you. Your best do look like. Is that? Yeah, that was great. Is that great? I'm sorry. I chat them and I They've been sitting on this here beach at Port Call all bloody morning. Who oh, next to nothing on mine? Bikini those notes. Two cups full, eh, Dad? <laughs> I gotta touch her. Just go. Bloody go, him says to I. She kept looking so sideways, Dad. I mean, with a bit of encouragement in that. Jim, is this true or just one of your stories? She was over standing near. Anyway. I thought best approach would be by a bit of horseplay. Well, that'd be fine if you were a mayor. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, Daniel. I was always trying to go one better, and I, didn't you? Oh. So, they go for a walk in the afternoon, see? Long sad. Suddenly, in jumps her. 
I like that duck you, he says, pushing her towards the water. Don't we, she says. Christ, you can't even bloody spell it. <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> oh, hi, John. How is it? I'd like you to meet my girlfriend, Don. Beth. Beth Carter. Beth, this is an old pal of mine from the grammar school. Daniel Field. Double E Field. Hey, Don. That's right. Uh, pleased to meet you, Beth. Nice to meet you too, Dan. John says you're at Oxford, is that right? Yeah. Clever bugger, ain't he? Well, <laughs> it beats uh, work, that's for sure. So, uh, how long have you been going out with old John here? Well, I wouldn't really Two say that. Months. Did you Where's my beer? See a dream walking? See a dream talking, well, I did. Did you ever have a dream thrill you with, will you be mine? Oh, it's so grand and it's too, too divine. Did you ever see a dream dancing? Ever see a dream romancing? Well, I did. Did you ever find heaven right in your arms, saying, I love you? I do. The dream that was walking and the dream that was walking and the heaven in my arms was you. Well, well, it's uh, Beth, isn't it? Beth Carter. We met on Saturday at the. At the dance. Daniel Field. With, with two E's. <laughs> Where are you going, if I may dare to ask? Mama, to get my hair done. Oh, oh, not cut. Not cut, I hope. But it's a bit raggedy at the end. But it's I... perfect, Beth. Not too good with the women, is he? I just went a mile. To what? Away from. Is Beth home by any chance? At three o'clock on a weekday. Oh, I, I meant if I could... Uh... There's at work, old buddy, at Mallard. Oh, yes, of course. The grocery place. There's cashier there. Good we figures, mind our Beth. Always was. Do that, you know, at certain times and hours. Danny, you're right. The feeling that what we hear, see, think is all so say out there in front of us. The feeling that somehow or other it's all been arranged in advance by. I don't know what to call it. Paranoia. <laughs> I've always wanted to be an artsy fartsy arsehead. That's why I want to work for the Arts Council. Or oh, that magazine, what's it? Uh, sight and sound. <laughs> I'd make. Your table, my lady? Ah, oh, yeah. It's straight out of... It's straight out of the film. Now, look, Sandra. No, you look. I mean, it's not as though you've got to keep on doing it with him now, is it? I don't want to do it with him at all. Thank you very much. This is the second page of my... What's happening here? 
What's happening? Daniel, what on earth are you on about? Oh, it's so right. They're speaking my lines. the second. That's all right. That's perfect. We're well clear of the trauma syndrome. But did you notice how the memory we fed him bumped into his real ones? And the real ones bumped into his own real ones, if you follow me. But we all do that, don't we? All the time. Just so I get it on the record, Dave, just so as you don't get up three, four months from now and yell for Harry Shumpert to be de -whatsipated. I want to be adamant. To be what? Adamant. With me? I want to be as near to adamant as your bullying cruelty will allow. Your what? I want to cringe, Dave. OK, go ahead. And whine and crawl and wring my hands. Consider it done, eh? But uh, about what, though? This head. I'm right. I'm right even when I'm wrong, Harry. It ain't gonna work. How much you bet? Not my job, that's for sure. Okay, I promise. Not your job. But you've gone on record. The record is noted. Right here. That head, Harry, is going to outrate every damn show that we got. But it's so fucking old, Dave. It's like, like, God, like one of those cheeses. One of those what? Crawling with maggots. It gives me the shudders. Eating stuff like that? Come on! It'll be the most exciting, the most unexpected, the most storiest of all the, the... Our biz, show biz, call it what you will, biz. It's all about taking a trip, huh? A journey, that's all. Looking over the next guy's fence, right? Right. Five minutes to zero. Yeah, noon, I know. Well, maybe she'll say no, no, no. Listen, fella. Those with high principles stuffed like a pole up their ass, they're no trouble at all. You just reach out and take them. They're always ready to fall out of the tree, yeah? The right and the proper, the good and the true ones. It's the people with no principles at all that you gotta worry about. I have no means of ensuring this will not be recorded. I'll be brief. I tick the yes box. Now what do I do? I'll wait instructions at home at seven. Professor Porlock. Correct. What are you doing? Minding my own business. Come on, Professor. I shall have to report that at 11.59 hours, you made what appeared to be an audio call in circumstances that suggest... Well, you tell me. Good. And add, at 11.58 hours, I finished a wee-wee. And at 12.01 hours, I talked to an impertinent oak. Hey, you! Entrance here. <laughs> Celestine. Miss Masden? Split your face later. Not now. Sorry, Miss Masden. Be a good boy, Nigel. And get us a drink, Carlo. And give me a kiss. Yes, ma'am. Which first? Get the drinks. Yes, ma'am. Bonehead. 
Jasmine. What do you think? Well, don't let him finish your crossword puzzle, ma'am. No. No, but what about his pectorals? His pecs? I wouldn't even be starting the puzzle, Miss Man. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, Celestine. <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh, this is a pretty color. Mmm, deep purple. Definitely nice. <laughs> Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh -huh. You like that, huh? Yes. Later. Quick. Get me my VR helmet and a dotted glove on the side table next to the poolside window. Yes, But do it now. Yes, sir. in Laboratory F, there was a double ordering of the same compound beyond allocation. 59, Guard Hopkins observed Professor Porlock making what he considers to be an outside odd call while walking to and from Laboratory A. At 12.03, Guard Grab... I wonder... Topaz, maybe? Topaz! Christ! Listen, you! I'm not this bleeding breeze like the rock of me own and don't you tell me! We did it, delivery! Jim Sullivan! Nice. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea or something? Tea! A cup of bloody tea! I'm in, in there, see? A little drop of mother's room, that might do the trick. That cupboard up there. measurements down to the nth degree, Fyodor. I see. You've worked it so oh, no, well. Lady. Professor Emma Porlock, this is Martina Matilda Mazdan at 8.50 a.m. Los Angeles time, 5.50 p.m. your West Europe time. Register what I have to say. I am registering, Miss Mazdan. First, what makes you behave in such a way that would lead an uncharitable person to conclude that you are a nasty, two-faced, two-timing sewer rat? Which uncharitable person would that be, Miss Mountain? I only know of one such. Don't hoardy with this bitch, bitch. And what am I supposed to have done? 
At 11.59 this morning, your time, you went to elaborate lengths to make a so-say secret audio call while walking to and fro to no purpose in front of the laboratory. Am I right? My business is my business, Miss Marston. On the contrary, dear, your business is my business. Did you call David Seltz? Who? Never mind. Who do you mean? The muck merchant? That silts? Is that who you mean? I said, never mind. Now, get ready to crack your chops into a smile, Professor, if you can still do such a thing. Oh, I certainly can, especially when I think of how wide the gap can be. What gap? That between genuine wit or banter and loutish verbal thuggery. <laughs> I bring you good tidings of joy, Emma. Your budget will be maintained. Thank you, but, um... But? Do I hear a but? It's not big enough. Why? Graceless, ungrateful... Ow! Wow. And wow, encore. Don't you think you... No, I suppose you know. Oh, but if we can continue, even for only five or six minutes full out each day. Oh, my God, Emma. You played it very cool. I suppose you know what you are doing. I hope so. for everything? We have. Okay, let's call it a day. So a man disappears. People disappear. While we're here, yes, why not? Call in our lab A agent. Nobody here knows that Milton's vanished, do they? Not yet, they don't. Milton, Public Affairs, wishes to see Blinda George in his office, this floor, ASAP. Public Affairs, me. What you been up to? Ask him for some of his coffee, Blinda. It's a real... So why me? Well, you'll have to find out, won't you, dear? Say something. Uh, Luanda. There's something going on. Tony, you saw it too. I, I just saw it on your face. I think I know what you mean. Look, elimination. There have been times when I've been on the brink of saying something and, and, and pulled back. Because of Blinda. Blinda? Fuck, this is awkward. We meant you two. Which two? You and me. Well, yes, you're right. We've uh, got ourselves tangled up with things. One of which is um, that after talking to Fyodor, Does, Does that include the whole team? Oh, yes! Except Blinda. I really don't understand why you're making such a fadolo about this. Think about it. What would Milton want with a laboratory assistant? What am I to do with public affairs? And what if he suddenly turns up and says... He has turned up. Dead. Where? When? In a bin, Lana. Outside a bakery in Notting Hill. Blunt instrument, 
fully clothed. No prints, no unmatching body fluids, no nothing. And he left no note as to where he was going or who he was seeing. Nothing. In fact, apart from your dossier, Blender, we've almost damn well to connect him with the Rons. He was one of them, OK? Everything here tells me, and I know, I know he was up to something. As surely as I know that Fyodor Glazunov is either a Kobat supporter or an active member. Then why don't we pick him up? And lose the chance to one of the big ones. Somebody I think that's very close. To him and to me. Wicked old bitch. I don't want you to worry your head about it one little jot, Professor. Okay? You keep whomsoever of your lot, Natch. And I throw in Dr. Rawl here. Say hello, Doc. Good evening, Professor Porlock. Good evening, Dr. Rawl. What is your particular field, may I ask? Sex. I beg your pardon? I'm especially interested in sexual arousal, Professor. <coughs> and erectile tissue. Excuse me one moment. I'm sure that when you have talked together for a while, Dr. Rawl here will become a valued and respected member of your team. Huh? I think that we need his particular expertise in these bio-what-you-wants that he specialized in. But be that as it may, I've already got a place for you to work. The ICB labs have rented me two entire floors of their complex. Where is it? Hampstead. So, you got all facilities, huh? And they make some of the stuff that you buy in, isn't that right? Yes, it's true. Anything, everything, eh? All on tap. I can outmatch that old witch, cent by cent, eh? Dime by dime. Now, what I require is for one of your team, eh? A guy on your squad to be sent over here to my, um, Kubla Khan stately, uh, well, you know, <laughs> ASAP. For why? We need a navigator who is not going to steer the ship into the fucking rocks. Now, are you with me? We have got to move that bio box with that magic lump of gray stuff inside it without making what is left of that poor guy feel like his fucking face is falling off. Am I right? I go. Hey. Well, come on. Move your feet, fella! Do not address my distinguished colleague, Dr. Glasanov, in such an outrageously vulgar manner, Mr. Seltz. Hey. <laughs> hey, we're family here, right? If so, let us conduct ourselves accordingly. Now, what the rest of you folks do is what the rest of you folks normally do when you've uh, finished your juice, cleaned your teeth, and emptied your bowels, right? You go to work. <laughs> You turn up all bright and shining, ignorant as bliss, huh? And what you, what, what you mean? The head's gone? How can a head take a war? <laughs> <laughs> all that kind of stuff, huh? And how long do we keep that particular farce going? As long as it takes. Harry, keep out of it. But he is right, huh? As long as it takes for you all to sit around and tap your toes and pick your noses and say, Hey, way, no head, no point. Huh? Ta-ta, toodaloo, goodbye, I resign. What if Martina Marsden doesn't cut our budget? What if she decides to maintain it as it is? Ah. Thinking of two-timing, are we? Let me tell you this, Professor. Your defrosted lump of gristle is going to be plugged into everybody's TV and VR helmet, no matter what. There's nothing up ahead. Right, now this is vital. Once actually in Laboratory A, you will follow the precise instructions of Dr. Glazunov. Clear? Clear! Clear! Remember, you're supposed to be police, so act like police. Let's go!
I don't feel... I mean, I'm not ashamed or anything like that. I don't feel nice about writing to him in the way I did. I mean, doing that damn national service in Germany and all. But, Daniel, Dan, you'd always taken too much for granted. You know, you'd say, this is Beth, she's my girlfriend, and say it like, like, oh, I don't know. Hands off is the way he said it. And you can't really blame him, not from where I'm sitting. People say you're a bit strange. Do they? In what way? Keep yourself to yourself. Not anymore. There's room for one other. Just the one. Your brother. What about him? You being identical twins and all. On the outside only. Will they ever let him out? Look, he had a... Oh, don't get angry, please. They called it a nervous breakdown. They said he was more dangerous to himself than to others. He's got a brilliant mind. No, I mean brilliant. All on the sciences, maths, all the academic subjects I most hate. He's taken a degree from where he is. He's happy. I see him sometimes. Do you? Not as much as I should. Oh, Dan. You sound so sad. Don't be my love. What's all this then? What do you want? What do you mean, what do we want? Open the gate! Quick about you it! You can't just come. you got to show some... Jesus. I shall count to five. This is a matter of state security. There is to be a Ron raid here within the hour. Jeez, over. Open the gate so we smash them down and arrest all of you as co-conspirators. One. Two. Three. Open the gate! Open the gate! Five! Gate's opening! Gate's opening! Let's make it look as though the wrongs have paid a visit. 